What's up guys, welcome back to my veterinary channel. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and you can browse through my veterinary videos that will teach you a ton about how to make your pets live a happier life. And in this video today, we're gonna talk about heart disease and some of my favorite supplements that I like to give pets that have heart disease after they've been diagnosed. Now don't panic. Veterinary science has come a long way in treating our dogs and our cats' hearts. Did you know that there's even cardiologists for dogs and cats? These are heart specialists in the veterinary fields and they can help your pets live a longer life. But so can your GPs over here or your general practitioners like me. We know how to treat heart disease too and dogs can live anywhere and cats from six months to three years or more once they've been diagnosed with heart disease. And if you guys are my old followers here and you've had a dog with heart disease or you're new here, please put it in the comments below how long your dog lived, um, some of their symptoms, what happened towards the end, so that other pet owners that are in dire need for more information can read it. There's thousands of pet owners on my channel and these comments really do help them. So let's quickly just chat about heart disease in our pets. Maybe your veterinarian didn't give you a ton of time or a lot of information, so now you're at home and you can relax and learn about it. So congestive heart failure in our pets, or heart disease or heart failure in general, is when fluid builds up on the lungs or their liver is getting really congested. And this is because the heart valves aren't working properly. So there's four valves in the heart, and when the heart pumps, that blood is supposed to go around the body and in a nice circular motion, oxygenating the body. But when these valves don't work and the heart pumps, there's backflow. And that's exactly what we could hear with our stethoscope when we're listening to your dog's heart. It sounds like instead of our nice ba-bum, 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 because these valves aren't meeting, we're hearing a swooshing sound going back and forth through these valves. So that's mitral valve disease um, in your small dogs. But in large dogs, they get dilated cardiomyopathy, and then in cats, they get HCM. But the same concept is there, that these hearts aren't functioning properly and blood isn't flowing correctly around the body. So what your veterinarian is gonna prescribe you is gonna be drugs that are gonna help the heart work. So the main one for dogs is Vetmedin, and this one is called Pimobendin, and that one helps the heart pump. That drug, I'm actually not scared of. There's not a lot of side effects to it, hardly at all, and it prolongs their life. There are studies that show that Vetmedin seriously prolongs their life. And then other medications are gonna be like enalapril or blood pressure medications to help relax those vessels. And then they're gonna give them a diuretic. But the thing with a diuretic, like Lasix is a diuretic, and this one causes stress on the kidneys because it's making the body pee out all the liquid that could be building up in the lungs that's causing congestion. But the tricky thing is, is that we need these diuretics because they get the fluid off the heart so that your dog or your cat can breathe and be comfortable. If they can't breathe and that heart is really failing, I, I think of it like F for fluid, fluid means failing, the heart is failing, and there's fluid in the lungs, then those patients are really uncomfortable and your veterinarian may have a conversation with you about quality of life. But we're not there yet. Don't even worry about that. We're gonna talk about now the supplements that you can add on to those heart medications um, to help your dog feel even better. So the first thing isn't a supplement, but it's their diet. You wanna have your pet on possibly a prescription cardio diet. So a diet formulated for their heart disease. This means it's gonna have low sodium and more nutrients to help them when they're on these diuretics where they're peeing out nutrients like potassium. And this will help prevent muscle 
muscle cramps and just make them overall feel great. Now my first supplement is CoQ Enzyme 10. I'm sure you guys have heard about this for yourselves, but this makes the heart stronger. So our pet's hearts are having a hard time pumping. They have to work really hard to pump blood around the body like I explained earlier. So CoQ Enzyme 10 at 10 milligrams per 10 pounds really helps these dogs. And the next one is fish oils. I'm sure you've heard this a million times that omega-3s and essential fatty acids cure everything. They probably do. But giving them a capsule in their food every day or liquid, I love the liquid that you just squirt onto their food at 500 milligrams to 1,000 milligrams per 10 pounds of body weight really helps them with their heart. Seriously guys, fish oil has been shown in so many studies to be beneficial for most types of heart disease by lowering circulating triglyceride levels, preventing hardening of arteries, and it has antioxidants in it and anti-inflammatory effects on the entire body, including the heart. And then one that I love is natural diuretics. So did you know that dandelion root comes in a tincture and it's a natural diuretic that we can feed our pets? So you can give them a few drops to an entire dropper depending on their weight. And the dandelion root helps stimulate the kidneys to produce more urine. So it does this directly and indirectly through hormones, but I just love that dandelion root is out there and that we can buy it for our pets to use it when they have fluid overload in their lungs. It's something natural you guys can use. So if you're interested in dandelion root, I will put some links in my description below to companies that I trust so you guys can use it for your pets. So last but not least, these two sometimes come together within the same product, and that is L-carnitine and taurine. So what taurine does in our dogs and cats helps maintain the structure and function of the heart muscle. It is involved in regulation of calcium levels in the heart, which is essential for proper heart contractions. All right guys, so those are the heart supplements that I would add to my dog's daily diet if they were diagnosed with heart disease. So if you guys have any other additional supplements you guys know about, please put that in the comments below for other people to read. And like always, subscribe to my channel, hit the thumbs up to help my videos circulate, and I will see you next week.